Hi, my name is John Gould. I'm a general surgeon and chief of general surgery here at Frederick and the Medical College of Wisconsin. I'm also the director of the minimally invasive general surgery program here in the Department of Surgery. Uh, my uh, background is that I trained at the University of Wisconsin. I went to medical school and did my residency there. Following uh, my residency, I went and did some advanced training in minimally invasive and laparoscopic surgery at, at Ohio State University. I spent 10 years on faculty at UW before uh, coming here to Milwaukee uh, in uh, the fall of 2011. Uh, my, my area of interest and my specialty is minimally invasive treatment uh, with laparoscopy, endoscopy, and robotic techniques of diseases of the esophagus and the stomach. So I specialize in diseases, uh, surgical treatment of diseases such as obesity, such as gastroesophageal reflux disease, stomach hernias, hiatal hernias, and paraesophageal hernias. Uh, I also do a lot of work with esophageal motility disorders such as achalasia. And finally, I also do quite a bit of uh, abdominal wall and inguinal hernia surgery, whether it's laparoscopic or advanced uh, reconstruction techniques. Uh, I collaborate with physicians in the Condon Hernia Institute to take on uh, many different kinds of cases. The Minimally Invasive General Surgery Program is a special program in the Division of General Surgery. And there are four surgeons uh, like myself who have advanced training in minimally invasive techniques. And uh, we really focus on bringing the latest minimally invasive options, the most cutting edge technologies and procedures uh, to our patients. So um, some of the advantages to a less invasive option is that we're often able to accomplish things that are very difficult to accomplish uh, through traditional approach, whether it's an open abdominal incision or an open chest incision. Uh, we can go a lot of places that's very difficult to go um, with these different kinds of approaches and techniques. So this often translates into a recovery and a safety advantage uh, for patients. They may be back on their feet out of the hospital, back to their normal lifestyle uh, much sooner with, with these kinds of approaches. In our uh, division, we have the infrastructure to continually learn from our experiences and do uh, uh, research in order to advance the state of the, the minimally invasive uh, procedures. And so we're constantly trying to improve upon our results and uh, bring these directly to our patients. Our goal is really uh, to be able to help our patients to understand what the different options might be, the pros and the cons of each option, and to really understand what life will be like uh, after surgery um, what the risk is, what the symptomatic outcomes are, uh, and really help people to make an informed decision. Um, and our goal is to spend individual time with each patient and tailor a treatment plan that's right for that specific patient. And so we have a lot of different choices because we bring different techniques and, and approaches to common diseases. Um, and we hope that from among the choices, we can really, again, tailor the uh, approach and the procedure uh, for that patient, their disease, and what their goals are.